So I have an uh, undergraduate and graduate degree in geology. Uh, undergraduate is from the University of St Andrews in Scotland and a PhD from the University of New Brunswick out in the Maritimes. Planetary geology to me um, means studying not just the Earth but the other planets, um, but it's fundamentally rooted in using the Earth as a reference point. Uh, so a lot of my research is actually completely focused on the Earth and understanding the Earth and how various aspects of it work. Um, but I also have a large group who are studying the Moon, Mars and other planets in our solar system. The one big thing that we can't do for most planets is visit them ourselves. And so we have very sophisticated rovers on Mars and soon on the Moon and other planets. Um, usually all we have is uh, spacecraft data from going into orbit around planets. And so we're typically restricted just by receiving the images and sometimes some chemical data or other type of information. And we would never dream of kind of interpreting that um, without what we call going in on the ground on Earth and looking at the real rocks in context and in situ. Uh, a lot of my research involves going to so-called analog sites on Earth. So places that are similar maybe geologically or environmentally or both uh, to another planet. And one of the best examples is large parts of the Canadian Arctic that are cold, dry, and very similar geology to parts of Mars. And so we go to those places, uh, we may study a landform that looks similar on Mars. And of course on Earth, we can go there, we can collect the samples, we can do the analyses. So that helps us then better understand and interpret the data we get back from another planet where right now we can't go and walk around ourselves. At the end of my undergraduate, wondering about what I was gonna do in life, um, I fancied a, a challenge and so I saw this PhD advertised and it was working with NASA in the Canadian Arctic and on meteorite impact craters and I just thought wow that sounds amazing and exciting. The opportunity to go up to the Canadian Arctic was one I couldn't pass up. And then as I got more and more into my PhD research uh, it was focused on meteorite impact craters, the scars left behind when asteroids and comets strike the surface of the planet. There are many of these craters on Earth but as I progressed in my PhD realized that this is actually the dominant kind of geological landform of many other planets and so I immediately started looking at uh, other planets. So I've run that course uh, twice now and it's actually one of a number of kind of courses that uh, I've taught here at Weston, uh, at Sudbury and then even taking it further afield, um, I mean up to the Arctic with small groups, including Canadian astronauts, actually. And so Subbury was actually uh, mostly funded by NASA. That's NASA Lunar Science Institute. And the reason we chose Subbury is that it is a, it's a giant meteorite impact crater that formed there about two billion years ago. But the best way to learn about geology is really hands-on, is to have the rocks in your hand, to see things uh, in the kind of natural location. And so, this was a course on meteorite impact craters, on impact cratering uh, processes. And so I would run some lectures kind of in the mornings and then in the afternoon literally you can walk out of the door of the university there and you're looking at rocks produced by the impact events. It's really just a great place to do that course. So really one of the, the fundamental things about planetary science and planetary geology to a certain degree is that it is interdisciplinary. And so I have students with more of a biology background, a geology background, kind of physical geography, and you can be a planetary geologist. So if you're thinking about becoming a planetary geologist or just planetary science in general, an undergraduate degree is really, is really required. Um, but it could be in chemistry or in biology or in geology, earth science or in physics um, or astronomy. And if you focus and do well at one particular subject, um, that really stands you in good stead kind of later on in, in your career.